YouTube subscriber George sent me a question about thermite. Thermite is one of the hottest burning man-made mixtures on the planet. And by weight, thermite is about three parts iron oxide, which is just rust, and one part of powder aluminum. But today I'm going to show you how to make your own for free. There's two ways I make my own rust, and I'll show you both of them. The first easy way is electrolysis. You just take about 250 milliliters of warm water and add one sporkful of brown salt and stir it up. You need to start with a couple pieces of ferrous based metal, iron, steel, don't use stainless or any type of alloy. And then connect an electrical wire to each of the bolts. So the electricity is going to flow from negative to positive and rust will accumulate on this bolt. Use voltage grade assembly tape. The solution's bubbling and you can see the start of the electrolysis process. So while this process is going, I'll show you my other way of making rust. Well, all over your shop floor, there's a bunch of iron particles and fragments and dust from when you were grinding and chopping and sawing. And just collect all this crap in a dustpan. Take a magnet and run it around in the dirt and all those little iron fragments and bits of steel that you were grinding and cutting on that ended up on the floor will actually stick to the magnet. Just peel the metal off of the magnet and keep it in a little container. And then just grab one of your wife's pie tins. If you look in your wife's sock drawer she has like, the, like a nylon socky thing but if you stretch it over your container, it makes a badass screen strainer. And you secure it with this purple power band. To make this into rust or iron oxide, I'm just going to take a water spray bottle and I'm going to spritz the pie tin. I'm going to shake a nice layer of the iron all over the pie tin. And when I get one good layer going, I'm going to spritz it with a little bit more water and keep the whole thing damp. Back to the electrolysis method, you can see there's a lot of rust starting to form on the bolt. You basically just scrape that off and let it dry and you have iron oxide to make thermite. So I'm going to clean this mess up and I'll come back later to check on this rust. Just spread it out all over the pan. Spritz it with water again and let it sit overnight. So this rust is dried overnight. There's plenty of it. So now I'm going to show you how to make some aluminum powder. I have this piece of scrap aluminum and to make the aluminum powder I'm going to sand aluminum off into this pan using this 10,000 grit extra fine diamond paper. I'm going to wear my particle mask. Using my balance scale, I'm going to measure out my three parts of iron oxide to my one part of aluminum powder. Now I'm just going to mix them together. Before I light this on fire, I'm going to put it in this little tin. To burn the thermite, I'm going to put the tin on top of this titanium plate that's on this thick bed of sand inside this copper pan on top of this stainless steel plate. Thermite burns really hot, but it also takes a couple thousand degrees to ignite it. So to do that, I'm going to use this magnesium welding rod. My respirator, my eye protection, my leather welding gloves, first a full face shield. Safety first. That was badass. Burned right through the tin, through the titanium plate, and into the sand. But not through the sand in the copper pots. Homemade Thermite gets a solid 5 out of 5 Itchy Bun Moto stickers. If you want to send fan mail or stuff for me to test, use, or modify, it is below in the video description. And subscribe for weekly Itchy Bun Moto videos.